So if you haven't watched the video where I fired up my old tube rig, go and watch that. I've linked it in the video description. What I want to try and do is get a similar thing happening with the Axe FX 3. Uh, what I found really interesting listening back to that clip after letting it sort of marinate up there for about a day or two uh, was the essentially the cool thing about it is the mics aren't 100% in phase. I literally just chucked the mics up and didn't check the phase. And then when I was sort of uh, bouncing the audio down, I was listening to it going, yeah, you know what, they actually sound a little bit phasey, but I think that is part of the appeal of that kind of sound. You've got this very mid-heavy tone and a very mid-scoop tone, and they're ever so slightly out of phase, and uh, that just kind of gives it a little bit of extra, whatever you want to call it, character, let's say, uh, because normally, you know, you want to correct the phase and things like that, and not that it's right or wrong, but often we remove uh, phase misalignment and in that clip there's definitely some phasing going on between the two different signal sources. So what I've got going on in the Axe 3 now is I haven't done a tone match or anything, I've just dialed this by ear. I've got the Recto 1 Orange, master volume quite low, very similar settings to the actual amp and I've got the Friedman HBE 2018 C45 with the fat switch on which sounds pretty similar to the DSL and I've blended them to a similar amount Furthermore, I've taken IRs of those two cabs. So I've got a V30 IR and a Marshall cab, and then I believe it was a WGS Green Beret that I mic'd up with a 57, and I've got an Impulse that I shot of that one as well. I'll put these up with the preset, uh, and I think it sounds pretty good. It doesn't sound exactly the same, but it has a very similar thing going on. Obviously, I'm monitoring this through my Atoms. Uh, it doesn't sound anything like it in the room because an amp in the room sounds nothing like what you guys heard anyway but uh, yeah it's got a similar vibe going on I've also got an FET drive block in there and I'm just trying to think if there are any kind of other tricks I didn't have to do too much tweaking it probably took about 10 minutes uh, all up to get this happening including adding everything to the you know adding the drive blocks and stuff like that so I'll do a little bit of playing and I'll put the patch up for you guys if you want to have a bit of a play around with it or you can just take the IRs from the patch and use them I think the IRs are pretty cool as well and if you enjoy the video as always hit the subscribe button uh, you can check out my music online if you look up Ragdoll our latest album is called Back to Zero you can help support the channel and support the band and pick that up and otherwise just enjoy riffing out on this patch Thank you. 